Hey yo, how's it going? My name is Nemo Ashong, and I wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time to listen to the Enjoyment Podcast. This is a podcast specifically designed to help you and other career changers be able to make a transition into tech and to be able to experience enjoyment through employment. This is something that is incredibly near and dear to my heart, given my own personal experience, and really just seeing the struggles of people who are truly passionate, who are truly interested in getting a job in whatever field that they desire, and not feeling that they have the skills, the experience, you know what, to be frank, the worthiness to be in a role and a company that would otherwise be absolutely lucky to have them. So that's probably my biggest objective with the Enjoyment platform and the Enjoyment podcast is to help you and others just like you know that you are worthy of a career in tech, that there is a way. In fact, there's likely endless possibilities for you to make the transition in your career without having to start all over from scratch and for you to know that you are not alone on this journey. Each featured guest on the podcast, each listener who I affectionately call an employee, and everyone at Enjoyment is working with you and we know that you are working with us. This is something that I'm truly, truly passionate about and I honestly feel that my entire life has been working toward this business of professional development for career changers because quite frankly, I currently believe in unlimited potential. And I say currently because that wasn't always the case. In fact, I recorded this a few times trying to start my story in the middle, but I think I just have to do it justice by giving you the full reason as to why I am taking the time to spend time with you and why I'm going out to help make your experience as a career changer as easy as possible and then continue to help you be successful afterwards. I really like to think that my journey began in high school during my senior year. I had applied to a really good college at the wise behest of my parents. In fact, they even took the time to make sure that I did it by uh, kicking me out of band to make it happen. But I can now sit back and just say how grateful I am for that kind of love and foresight. Shortly after I found out I had gotten in, we were having a conversation in English class where we were all just sitting around in groups. And I happened to overhear someone say, can you believe that out of all of us, out of all of us, Niyama is the only one that made it into an Ivy League school? And that moment to this day still sticks with me because shortly afterwards, I realized that they were right. I didn't deserve to be going to that school. In fact, I had to be kicked out of band in order to make it happen. And so when I got up to college, I ended up not investing in the way that I really should have into my studies. It made sense. I wasn't qualified or worthy of being there. So why bother with it? And in fact, that's how it continued up until one September when I got a notification from financial aid letting me know that my financial aid for the year had been denied and my parents were not going to be able to come up with the tuition. I feel quite fortunate that a family member was willing to help us out through that difficult time, but it helped me realize that I really needed something to show for my time at that institution. And at that moment, there was a shift in me, a shift to start doing the work (laughs) realistically, to to really find a way to excel academically. And I'm happy to say that that worked out really well. But it was my first real insight in, in realizing that I hadn't gotten there by luck and that I really did deserve to be there. That then got me into a role doing actuarial work at a retirement actuarial consultant practice within one of the big four accounting firms in New York City. And my time there was good. I grew a lot. I met a lot. And honestly, it set the foundation for a lot of what I do today. But after six years of doing it, I realized that the activities I was doing in my spare time at work were really the things that I wanted to be doing more often. And after months of sitting with it and wrestling with what should come next, I eventually had this vision of a game of musical chairs. And I realized that I was sitting in the seat of someone who probably wanted very, very passionately to become an actuary, but they couldn't because I was currently sitting in a role as an actuary. I was sitting in their role. On the flip side, there was a high likelihood or at least a possibility that that same person was sitting in a learning and development role in a tech company wearing jeans and working on problems every day that excited me. And they were sitting there wishing that they could become an actuary. And it was with that 
thought in mind that really got me to make a move and a transition over to tech. I feel fortunate because one of my friends sent out a message saying that his company was hiring. And when I looked at the potential roles, it really described every single thing that I thought I had been doing up until that date. Not just at work, but in my spare time where I was working with nonprofits and singing with a barbershop chorus in New York City and also with Actuarial Journey, my career development organization focused on helping people become actuaries. And I have to tell you, my time in that tech company, it's called AppNexus, was absolute bliss. And it's not to say that every day was rosy or that I was smiling every day, but I was smiling because that's just what I do. I can't help but smile. The thing about it was that every day I was surrounded by people who challenged me, who were incredibly smart, and they gave me problems that really interested me. In fact, I got a chance to work on global community inclusion and making sure that our organization, regardless of their physical location, had the tools to collaborate effectively and share information and knowledge. I was involved in diversity and inclusion and working with various affinity groups in the organization to help them lead communities related to identities and other community groups, such as clubs and sports and such. And then I was also involved in really just the overall experience of the Apnexians there. In fact, that was what my team was all about, the people experience team. Through that experience, I found some information that really surprised me. In tech, all across tech, generally speaking, about 3% of the workforce were of African-American descent. And it surprised me to, to, not because it didn't make intuitive sense, but it surprised me because of my reaction to it. Rather than feeling upset around it, rather than feeling that things were off, I really just took a step back and felt, wow, I feel incredibly fortunate to be one of the lucky 3% that is currently in a role like this. And the reason that thought came to mind is because when I was making my transition from the actuarial world into tech, my past roles and experiences made me confident in my ability to provide value to an organization that was looking for it. My biggest struggle actually came from in terms of support from my friends and family and those around me, as in their best intentions to help me be successful in life, they encouraged me to stay where I was and put more energy into that. And then maybe after a few more years and having really gotten everything together and everything being sound, then I could make that transition into tech. And I thought of myself as one of the lucky 3% because in that regard there, quite frankly, if I had listened, I would still be doing that and you, we wouldn't be talking right now. And it became apparent to me that for all of the efforts that are being done to help youth become more familiar with STEM and tech and coding and so on and so forth, if they weren't going to get the support from their community, from their family, from their their role models, then it would take a special person, I guess 3% of the people, to be able to go forth and say that I'm going to do something different. And so for me, enjoyment is really about helping people experience enjoyment through employment, experience that bliss that I felt at AppNexus. But to be able to do it as they are right now, to be able to make a career change from wherever they happen to be. For me, it was from actuarial work over to human resources and employee engagement and company culture. But I was surrounded every day by someone else who had come from law or teaching or TV or it was just, it's actually just quite amazing how many people I was just surrounded by who came from all these different walks of life. And so I decided to start this podcast and enjoyment so that you too can get a chance to glimpse at all the different ways that you can become a part of the tech community. In fact, you're already a part of the tech community. Can I just say this? If you're listening to this podcast right now, if you've stayed on to listen this far, you're already a part of this tech community. You want it. You belong. We need you. I feel my role is to then help you build the awareness, the skills, and the experiences to transition into your first job in tech. And this podcast focuses on raising awareness in particular of the various roles, skills, and experiences that you might be able to leverage while looking for your role. And you'll find here that we do this by focusing on what other career changers have done to be successful in their transition into tech. Now, my goal here is to give you the information you can't find through a Google search. I'm not here to tell you a career in tech is for you. I'm not here to tell you it's going to be super easy. In fact, it likely won't be. But A, it can be easier. 
and B, from experience, it certainly can be worthwhile. What I am here to do is to make sure that you know that you are worthy of a career in tech, that there is a way, in fact, there is likely endless possibilities for you to make that transition in your career without having to start over, and that you are not alone in your journey. Each featured guest, each employee, which is what I affectionately call anyone that's looking to make this career in, in tech and does it through employment, and everyone at employment itself is working with you, and we feel that you are working with us. So you can expect to listen to conversations between me and other people who have been successful in transitioning into tech as we walk through a set, their journey. And we do that typically through uh, four questions and just let the conversation unfold as necessary. We talk about how they got started, where their journey began, what challenges they faced along the way, what wins they had and how they found enjoyment through it, and also what they are doing now. And we find this to be a great structure for us to really be able to identify what are the things that make it possible for you to leave a role of working in law for 20 years and then start over in tech without having to start over, <laughs> per se. Or what is it that allowed someone from Montana to be able to find a role in tech, even though that may not be a digital tech hub? Or what is it that people seem to consistently be doing and also to be thinking? What mindsets are they bringing to the table that's allowing them to be able to have success where others have struggled? The good thing about what we're doing here is that we're building your awareness through their experience and their actionable insight. And we make it sure to that it's all about actionable insight because at the end of every episode, there's a call to action so that their experience can truly become yours through action. In fact, Stephen R. Covey, author of the best-selling book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, said, to know and not do is to really not know. So at the end of each episode, you'll get a quick challenge, and then you can come over to the Empjoyment community, which you can find at empjoyment.com slash community. And it's just all of us out here talking and making forward progress on our goals. In terms of what you can expect, you can expect a different episode coming at you five times a week from Sunday to Thursday for the first 20 episodes. Afterwards, we're going to go down to three episodes a week, mainly because I want to make sure that you have time in between each episode to take action. I am happy to talk to as many people on your behalf as necessary. If you have any suggestions, just let me know. I would love to talk to them. Uh, just send an email to nemo at enjoyment.com. But generally speaking, we're going to make sure that you have the information that you need to really feel that and know that you can be successful in tech. And then we'll work together within the community and other offerings to really get you the skills and experiences that you need. In fact, we support all this year, the overall goal. In fact, I'm going to just go out and say it. In 2018, I like to make sure that Enjoyment is able to help 100 people get jobs in tech by the end of 2018. To do this, we're supplying and supporting you through information through the podcast, articles, there's videos, we have our community, we're involved in coaching, we have courses, we have events, and we're doing this all more or less virtually with some opportunities for some in-person experiences. And the reason for that there is that we really want to make sure that no matter where you are in the world, you have the opportunity to pursue your dreams and to ultimately experience enjoyment through employment. And by going through that process and transitioning into a role in tech, you'll be able to be a beacon of light and a role model for an upcoming generation on what success can really look like with a career in tech. So I invite you to continue listening. Thank you for letting me share my story. I won't really be sharing it much on these episodes here. I want to make sure that you have access to what all the guests have to share with you. So I figured I'll just put it all out there one time and let you know that this is coming from a place of true excitement for you and not only what's possible for you, but the exponential return that you, your family, your friends, your community and all of us will receive because you went and sat in the chair that was specifically made for you. I'm so, so thrilled to have the opportunity to talk to you. And I'm humbled and honored that you've given me the chance, that you've given all of us really the chance to help you experience enjoyment through employment each and every day. Take care and enjoy the podcasts.